Yeah, I'm just gonna be a really easy to shove, animal loving, uh, T Flame Ranger. There we go. So now I hit launch. You can drive, drive objects in the world. I didn't have enough time to read that. How will I know what to do with objects? It's, yeah, crazy. I'm definitely playing easy baby mode when I play by myself. I... Now we're playing middle ground, balanced. Oh, there's Liz. Ugh, creepy. Are tadpoles like baby mind flares? What are they? I'm coming into this with like no frame of reference for anything, okay? I've never played D&D &D before. Okay, that's what I thought. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No. Oh. Ew. No, thank you. Icky. I don't even like putting contacts in my eyes. Okay, Who should I you? should I enable tutorials? I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna just have it randomized a couple times to see what I get. But I kind of have a general idea what I might already play. JK, I have, like, no idea. Well, there's lizard people? Dragonborn is what it said. Uh... I don't know if I want to go half elf or tiefling for this first go through. Maybe I should be a dragonborn. Be a big dragon lady. <laughs> oh, look, I have something in my eye. Oh. Maybe I'll do half elf and I'll do like a solo dragonborn playthrough where I can just do whatever I want. I'm really cool looking. There's so many different colors. Oh my god. Those eyes. I see the body types are like right there. Base racial speed, you can move nine meters per turn. That's the only thing dragonborns have is a uh, speed. They don't have anything else like what like half elves have. They do, but 
it gives them like resistances based on which one you pick. Resistant to cold damage. Do you get like all up close and personal? It's gonna be tough to pick what I wanna be. It just look the the dragonborn looks silly without the big horns. Very stinky. I uh, see. For me, I have to make my character and then see what they feel like to me. I mean, I think I'm gonna end up being like a like a ranger or a druid or something just for this playthrough. I don't know. I have no real interest in running up and smacking things. I'm not ready to look into that yet. I just need to pick. I don't know what I want. Dark vision, hellish resistance. Hmm, messing around with tiefling customization at the moment. There are so many options. I'm struggling slightly. Just because, I don't know, I don't know what I want to be. I don't exactly know what she's going to do yet, but I do know that I really like her. I'll come back to the hair color at some point. I will, I mean, I will deal with it after I pick a hairstyle. Like, why would I worry about too much about the color before I even know what her hairstyle is going to be. I was dwelling on it too much and I don't even know what her hair is going to be, so... Who knows how it all... Ooh, that's kind of cute as a teeth I don't like that one. Oh, just a little bit to see if anything tops that. I'm pretty sure no. Pop the back up. They have like my hair. Okay. Now I mess with the color. <laughs> I mean, it has been 20 minutes. Mostly of me just staring at the screen, so it's all going to like be edited out because I'm not offering any like sort of commentary on this i'm just looking at her i want that tone to like purple there we go gray purple okay is your is your character gonna be like anti tiefling are we gonna have to be for something Ooh, you know, this hairstyle is giving um Cursed Prince. So we might go with it. It's giving uh, Jude, I think is her name. Okay. Don't really need facial hair. I might keep the hair the color it is. Maybe. Ooh, I kind of like the, the braids. Nothing is falling to me as much as that one style, so I'm probably gonna be doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. I think I've made decisions on everything, so now I can edit my character. Maybe I should have picked a sub race before I did that, but it's too late. If I click this, it's gonna get rid of it all. Yes. She's still there. Okay. I don't want to be a wizard. What, what do we have with it? I do not like this outfit. I'm going to make a decision purely based on that. It is a no-go. No bard for me. I do not feel like embodying the guy from The Witcher. That outfit looked like exactly like him. Uh, let's see. Druids channel the elemental forces of nature and share a deep kinship with animals. Mastery of wild to blossom to transform into beasts. Order staff is an option, which is something I have proficiency in. Dude, my tail's gonna throw me. 
Like, I'm used to having a tail as a Mikote, but this is a whole different kind. Uh, we've got Ranger. Our unrivaled scouts and trackers, wanting a deep connection with nature in order to hunt their favorite prey. Simple weapons, martial weapons. Alright, I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna be? You're gonna be a cleric? Okay. Keep scaring myself because I'm just looking at different options and it turns me into somebody else, but when I come back to my original option, it keeps me. That's what I wanted. Flash features, spell slots. Do I want to be a druid or do I want to be a ranger? What do you think? What seems more tiefling fitting? Because I watched... Was I watching you do the... Yeah, I was watching you in the druid camp and they seemed fairly anti-tiefling. Yeah. Yeah, they might be anti-raffling, but they called them Hellspawn. So maybe I'll just go ranger and then I can get a pet. Get a friend. True strike. Gain advantage on your next roll. Find familiar. A face spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. Okay. That's, yeah, I think I'll go Ranger. Favored enemy. So this radio set abilities is useful. Do I want to have proficiency in investigation? I feel like that might be kind of helpful. But I don't know. What is investigation? Creatures can hit with ensnaring strike. How disadvantage on their saving throw? I'm gonna go with bounty hunter. Although, true strike seems nice. Use of traveling and medium, particularly attuned to beasts, are adept at surviving in certain environments. Slide of hand. Is this a No, I have to be a beast tra tamer so I can get a familiar. Ooh. I like the idea of being a guild artisan. Guild Artisan gives insight and persuasion. So if I did that, I would have skills investigation, nature, insight, perception, survival, and persuasion. Turn on the charm. Read people and situations, detect lies. I get us no, okay, it already got bonuses this second. See, I was like, I'm a ranger, so I'm like, I could fit multiple things. I was thinking about doing entertainer to pull, like, that story from, like, a Guild Wars 2 OC, but I think I'll do artisan, but I feel like my thief in Guild Wars 2, she was, like, a performer, but she's a thief, and there, that's a job in here already, right? Like, a rogue? So if I was really gonna go after that, if I was gonna try to commit to that, I would have to go back and respec it. I want to be a ranger. So I'm going to be an artisan. My last chance to change my mind. I think. Probably not, because I'm waiting for you. Do I have to do anything in the abilities tab? It re it did it all for me. Okay. Oh, I can change? Oh. I see. Huh. Animal handling. Pet all of the dogs. I want to do that one. Oh, it's already at four. Or it's already at three. I didn't need that. I'm going to put it really high. I'm going to put all my points into that. No, I can't do that. I have to pick three things. And I get to decide between athletics. Helps you shove and resist being shoved. So right now I'm only athletics plus one. I feel like I'm a little easy to shove, maybe. Not sure. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna be a really easy to shove, animal loving, uh, tiefling ranger. Here we go. Easily shovable. Did you change your character's name? I see everybody refer to theirs as a Tav, but I'm assuming that's just because that's the default name. Is there any way to like randomize it? What are like good tiefling names? I'll do. Let me look up a tiefling name generator. Fetish. That's one that. It, generated fetish with a ph beautiful i'll do for laia i was trying i wanted like a floral name that's close enough for laia wait i'm gonna hit proceed i'm assuming it i have to what what is this it makes it says i have to choose a guardian wait I, what is a guardian for what is a guardian for the guardian NPC shows up in cut scenes during the dreams of the player's main character, where it's called the Dream Visitor. What does the guardian do? Oh, can you romance your guardian? Yes. Okay, so make it sexy is what I'm hearing. Okay. I don't know if I want to put a lot of effort into making a guardian. I don't know. Let's see. We'll do an elf, maybe. Because I don't know if I'll ever actually play an elf. Remarkable. Truly. I don't know if I liked that voice. It's making me, like, recoil a little bit. Okay. Alright, we'll just stick with it, though. <laughs> we just stick with everything. He looks fine. It's just randomize until I get one that looks kind of oh my god this has got to be my guardian he can't not be my guardian let me snap him to you this guy's got to be my guardian I feel I don't know I feel like it's destined <laughs> I'm very colorful I randomized it I didn't make any choices I just hit randomize oh do I keep him or do I just keep I'm gonna I don't know no, I already randomized away. I don't know if I want that guy showing up in my dreams. We'll do this, dude. Okay. Oh, am I getting pinged in the pineapple disco? Oh. Spicy. We are in a cutscene. I'm in a cutscene. Did you finish everything? I thought you were still going, so I was like alt tab looking at Discord pings. Oh. Can I send you a picture of my character? Oh shoot. It's muting the sound. I don't know if I did. I didn't, so you're gonna be surprised when you see her. She's beautiful. Well, you're gonna be disappointed, I'm sorry. They're lavender. Oh, rip to that bell tower. And all those people. Oh, dude, it's just disintegrating people. Oh, no, it's teleporting them. Did you not watch the cutscenes, or are you just... Dude. Dragons? Oh, it's the race that... What is I did see that they were, like, at war with each other. They're, like, mortal enemies. Ooh, that was cool. Dragon got him. I know. Cooking it. He cooked enough. Whoa!
exactly how it's spelled. Oh. Post in. Cooking. I'm cooking. I wanted to get out of the kitchen. Cooked enough. Help me, Liz. Is she gonna leave us? Well, then you know what? She's out of my party. Oh, that didn't redo. Oh, jeez. characters from I think so that's fine pickpocketing is a quick path to profit makes sense web services surfaces can and web you imagine that and it's taking its time it helps a little bit that I have no idea what like the like classes really are so I was just like uh eh, ranger sounds good let's go but I do need to make I went out quite a few alts probably I don't know, can you romance multiple people in one playthrough or do I have to pick and choose? I'm gonna need one for each of them. We're at 67%. It's taking its time. I wonder if it's because it's my first time maybe? Still at 67%. Is the loading screen gonna take as much time as it took me to make my character? Still at 67%. Every time it like changes the screen, I think that we're moving into a new zone. Yeah, but no, I'm still at 67%. Starting strong. Oh, I got 100%. Okay, let me figure it out. Okay, I'm loading in. It says you're like here. Are you a tiny little? What are you? Uh, a dwarf. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, editing yellow here. Thank you for watching my first let's play of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, this is gonna be the multiplayer series. Uh, you might not have picked that up because I didn't have it set up correctly to pick up Setsu's microphone. I thought I did. I never hit accept on setting it as an input, so it's not there. Um, for the until we get through like a certain s section, it's just going to be me talking to myself. So I'm going to be cutting out a lot more than I normally would just because it doesn't make sense if you can only hear one half the conversation. But the next one's going to be us getting off, getting through the ship. And it might just be us through the ship and even through the ruins that you go through, depending on how much I have to cut out. But I promise at some point there will be a second person. <laughs> that we'll be talking about stuff and it won't just be me talking to nobody. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Cubby.